I feel like I'm the best at saving money when I don't have to spend money. Does that make sense? Good morning, everybody. Today is a great morning, and while I'm GRE prepping, I figured I would show you guys what I, as a 25-year-old nurse, spend in one week in LA. Normally, if I'm really good about meal prepping, then I really don't spend a lot of money. So 500 is kind of on a steeper goal, but I feel like with all the things that I'm doing this week, it may be good to just kind of keep that amount a little bit higher than normal. All right, we are going to Trader Joe's right now. All right, so for Sunday, I bought groceries, I put some gas in my car, so that puts my total at $69.46. Trader Joe's cost me about $31.03. Keep in mind, I do live at home, so I just have to buy things that I enjoy eating, like my mom makes really good homemade food, so I just have to buy veggies and um, a little bit more healthier food because they don't really eat the healthiest, and I put premium gas in my car, but I think I wasn't that empty. So so I think we're off to a really good start because we started our week with less than $100, which means we're off to a good start. Okay guys, I just went to the gym. So my next purchase for today are these um, birthday donut, um, fit donut things that I you've seen in probably a previous video. Um, these for two are either like $7.50 or $8, so it's kind of steep, but they are protein donuts, they have no sugar, and I love them. So I got two packs, so that's about $14 that I spent today, and today is Monday of this. So as you guys have already seen from the last video, the protein donuts were not $14. The protein donuts were $8.73 per pack. That is a steep amount for donuts. But now knowing that they cost that much, it was $17.46 for two. I don't know if I could, in my right of mind, get these. It'll have to be like a special treat for me. I also went to go eat with my coworker. We went to go eat outdoor all-you-can-eat sushi, and it was very yummy. Uh, did I need it at the time? Yes, probably. Now looking back, would I have done it? I mean, I was hungry, and when I'm hungry, I usually just go for food. So I spent... $36.51 and all together for the day, the donuts and the sushi cost me $53.97. Tuesday rolls around and my boyfriend's birthday is coming up and he wanted me to paint him something as his gift. And keep in mind, I am not a painter of any sort. So I walked to my local arts and crafts store and it was actually a store meant for people who paint. So it was very expensive. So I found stuff at a cheaper place. So enjoy this montage of things I didn't buy because they were so expensive. I found a cheaper arts and crafts store that actually I used a coupon on. So, on, so instead of my items being $50, they were only $39.16. I also ended up buying food and matcha for me and my friend who was helping me with this project. And so the total came out to $63.85, um, which is a little pricey. But again, I'm very happy because it was less than $100. But that seems to be kind of like the running theme here is that I'm spending like $60, $70 every day. So I don't know, I could still go over. Mm. 
All right guys, so Wednesday rolls around and you know, I'm supposed to go to work on this day, but I wasn't feeling very good. So I just ordered food. I ordered it from this local poke place, but get this, like I hate when you order online. I get that you're paying for a convenience, but I hate when the markup is super crazy when you are ordering online. For this poke place, if you drive into the store, the medium is $13.50, but when you buy it online, it's $16.50 plus you're paying for the delivery fee and all the service fee, all that stuff. So it came out to $20.95 when I could have gotten a large in-store for $16.50. Why? I hate that. So I paid $20.95 for Poke. I also bought an Amazon purchase that I thought was such a steal. It was $10 for this Lululemon type dupe. And in total for Wednesday, I spent $30.94 which isn't too bad. It's better than paying the $60 that I've been paying every day. For Thursday, kind of the same thing. I was studying for the GRE and I just ended up buying food for my boyfriend's birthday. I spent $77.75 and we bought food and drinks. I don't have anything to say about this purchase. I ended up going to work on Friday. I was feeling better. So I bought a 50-50 raffle ticket there. My work was having a raffle as well as $1 chips. And because we're going into the next day basically, I had such a crazy night that my coworker and I ended up going to brunch. I spent about $26 at brunch and then I bought these Amazon dupes of like Lululemon Tempest Blue dupes online. So I spent $25 on those and I ate poke later on in the day. What's new? That cost me about $14.78, cheaper than when I ordered from Uber Eats. So in total on that day, I spent $5 plus $66 dollars and 77 cents my grand total for everything drum roll please is 367 dollars and 74 cents which is less than 500 dollars which we met i do feel like if i just ate at home and i didn't spend so much time eating out i would have saved so much more money like at least 150 dollars so I think I did well. I think I can do better. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and next time I'll make one with like all my monthly expenses, like my car and if I pay rent and things like that. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next one. I'm approaching the end of my GRE prep. So I'm hoping that I'll be back to a normal posting schedule and fingers crossed on that and wish me luck for the GRE. Alright guys, bye!